This is the eHealth Radio Network, your source for health advice on demand. And now your host, Eric Michaels. Thanks for joining us once again here on the Health Radio Network. This is your host, Eric Michaels. Today on the program, we're visiting with Kelly Jones, who is a board-certified specialist in sports dietetics, as well as a media and nutrition communications expert. And Kelly, thanks for joining us here today. Having me. Hey, you're more than welcome and great to have you out. Thanks for your time. So for starters, in a good place to start, tell us about your job as a sports nutrition dietitian. Of course, you know, this is a niche in our field to focus on sports nutrition, but with so many active people in our population, it really should be more well known. So in addition to being a dietitian, I also have a background in exercise physiology and starting with working with collegiate athletes in grad school. And uh, since then, I was a professor teaching nutrition, sports nutrition and exercise physiology for close to a decade while also working one-on-one with individuals and in team settings. And I've consulted for large fitness clubs and major league baseball teams and USA Swimming and continue to work with the MLB as well as swimmers and endurance athletes and collegiate teams with two dietitians working for my business, uh, seeing those one-on-one clients too. And as performance dietitians, what we do is help athletes at every level. This is including everyday exercisers, to learn to fuel their body for optimal physical and mental performance. A lot of people don't recognize the need to fuel for mental performance too and how that affects us physically. So on a one-on-one level, it's important to understand personal performance and health goals for our clients, as well as the nuances for your preferences and lifestyle that determine differences in what your fueling strategies might be versus your spouse or a friend who exercises with you or a teammate. Then when we look at our larger and group and team settings, or we're working with a national sports organization, I deliver information on general sports nutrition science and kind of sound bites uh, that really can stick with people along with practical ways that an athlete or audience can actually follow through with incorporating that science into real practice. And then a lot of that comes back to eating more of certain nutrients at certain times and also learning the right convenience foods for them to use too. Awesome details to get us underway here today. Now, what do you recommend to your clients, both professional athletes and fitness enthusiasts, to help them perform at their best? I'm sure listeners would love to hear your response to that. Yeah, as I mentioned, you know, we're looking at both physical and mental performance here. So from a nutrition perspective, to really perform your best in those areas, you need to consider nutrition as part of your training with your schedule in mind, right? So whether we have an athlete who's heading to practice at specific times each day, or you have an average everyday exerciser who is planning their workouts into their routine, that timing is important to them. And we want to make sure that we're timing our nutrition to go along with that too. So that is one of the areas we start in. But this includes not just before and after you're exercising, but also during activity for some people too. And with such demanding schedules, helping athletes and active adults eat enough is always number one. And for this, we have to think about emphasizing adequate intake of carbohydrates, protein, and fluids. Those are always the three nutrients top of mind for me. Most people, unfortunately, are trying to avoid carbs or restrict and limit their diets based on things that they're seeing on social media, but under fueling actually can lead to really inefficient workouts where it's a lower intensity, maybe you don't last as long, maybe you recover poorly, you can see difficulty concentrating on other things in life that matter throughout the rest of the day. And often we then see people overeat later too, because their body has been undernourished and they can't really control themselves later. So this is why that nutrient timing and eating enough is so important. We want to eat enough energy before our body actually needs to use it. And like I said, carbohydrates are a focus for us here. This is because carbs are actually the quickest and most efficient source of energy for your muscles and for your brain. So when we're thinking about everyday exercisers who, yes, they're focusing on fitness, they prioritize activity, they also, most of them have demanding jobs the rest of the day. They may have other priorities like taking care of their families and you know, other types of situations like that. And that brain energy really requires a lot of carbs too. So if we're soaking that all up and using that all up to fuel our brain, we're not going to have much left for our muscles or vice versa. So I want to really focus on eating enough of those throughout the day. And then timing of protein intake also matters. We see a lot of people eat a lot of protein right after exercise, and then we'll have a ton at dinner, focus their meal around just protein. 
And really what we want to do to optimize our muscle recovery potential from protein is spread it throughout the day. So have a moderate dose after that workout, a moderate dose at dinner, and where can we fit it in at other times? Now, all of this is great and things that we recommend, but uh, the evidence-based nutrition facts are important, but they're not going to matter unless the individual can actually take action to make changes for the long haul in their day-to-day -day life. And this is why I always consider that the lifestyles of athletes and active adults are usually really busy outside of their training sessions too. I've lived this myself as a former division one athlete in college and now as a busy working parent who still prioritizes fitness. I know it's not only helpful, but necessary with busy schedules to have really high quality convenience foods as a fueling option before and after our workouts, especially. Fantastic information right there. That is very helpful. Thanks for that. Now, I understand also you recommend the Honey Stinger line of products to help athletes and everyday fitness buffs prepare, perform, and recover. Tell us about the line of Honey Singer products and the new Honey Plus Oat Bar. Yeah, so as I mentioned, you know, before, during, and after activity, all times to think about our fueling as well as the rest of the day. And Honey Singer is one brand that really categorizes their products well into that prepare, perform, recover system. So their original signature product is their honey waffle. This is what most people have seen and heard of. Uh, it's what they're known for. And this is a thin layer of honey sandwiched between two thin waffles. And it offers this quick acting energy that's perfect to eat in the prepare phase for your workouts, maybe about 15 minutes before training, or you can even have it during longer intensity activity or longer lasting activity to delay your fatigue and maintain your intensity. And this quick natural source of energy is going to get delivered right into your bloodstream and your muscles are going to pull from that and use it so that you can feel great, have the energy that you need for, for fueling those muscles. And again, fueling that brain too. And these, this is a product I recommend to everyone from early morning gym goers to swimmers, to marathon runners, and even umpires and referees that I work with in professional sports. Uh, you mentioned their oat and honey bar, and that is their newest product in the prepare line. So again, prepare, we're thinking about what to have before our workout. And the idea behind this was to help you feel full enough without feeling weighed down so that you don't get into a workout that's maybe at a different time of day where you didn't have time for a full meal a few hours before, or you want something more than just that honey waffle, it's going to fill you up because it's got a good blend of carbohydrates to energize you, a little bit of fiber, healthy, unsaturated fats that we know are great for our heart, and six grams of protein. But because it's compact, it's not going to make you feel overly full or sit in your stomach for too long. And it's designed, all of Honey Singer's products go through a really long R&D process to make sure they actually taste good too. We don't want foods that have function and have all these nutrients but aren't satisfying. So this one has this rich, soft nut butter core, and then it's covered in a honey caramel, and then it gets rolled in oats and quinoa crisps. So there's this satisfying crunch in addition to the softness. And then you know you're getting quality nutrients you need, and it tastes high quality too. So that's their uh, major products in their prepare system. We also have their perform phase for when you're exercising for longer durations. For some people, this could be if you're training at a moderate to high intensity over an hour. For me, I typically recommend this to clients who are exercising 75 to 90 minutes or longer, you know, marathoners, ultra marathoners, or if you're heading to the gym and you do a weight training workout, and then you go to a spin class. I see that all the time. So when we're looking at that prepare phase, we want to give ourselves nutrients, but we are going to run out when we're exercising for a longer period of time. So having some energy coming in the perform phase, that's not going to sit in our stomach and is really quick as helpful. So Honey Singer has their energy chews and energy gels, as well as a sport hydration mix. So the sport hydration mix is kind of a more natural alternative to traditional sports drinks, gives a little bit more appropriate amount of sodium and a little bit less sugar than what you typically get. So it can really just maintain your blood sugar. And doing this again, along with eight ounces of water per serving, is going to extend duration of your activity, maintain intensity. It's also going to keep you from having your blood sugar dip and you being starving and wanting to eat everything after your workout too. Now they have that last recover phase, right? So we want to get an energy and recovery nutrients after we've worked out. So this recover phase, their key product is their nut and seed bar. And this has, you know, make sure that you have recovery fuel ready to go. We're always so busy 
it's not always an ideal time to go make a quick meal or be able to stop and get something that's nutritious as soon as we finish that workout. So keeping a nut and seed bar in your gym bag, in your desk at work, even in your car, uh, it's a great way to get in 14 grams of high quality protein to kickstart muscle recovery right after training. It's got a similar texture to that oat and honey bar. Um, but again, the protein really is the focus here. And one really cool thing about it, it offers an antioxidant fruit and mushroom blend that tastes delicious too. And this is a bonus versus some of those other recovery bars that you're going to see out there. So they really are intentional with their line of products, giving you high quality nutrients and the fuel that you need at the right time. Great insight and great information here today shared so far, Kelly. We're speaking with Kelly Jones, who is a board certified specialist in sports dietetics, as well as a media and nutrition communications expert here on eHealth Radio's health news, fitness, and nutrition channels, a part of the eHealth Radio Network. Now, also, Kelly, what else can you share about being best prepared for an athletic endeavor? Well, if you're training for a race or a competitive event, I mentioned this before, nutrition should be part of your training. And along the way, you want to use some trial and error. You can't just expect to eat a certain food or use a certain product the day that you compete and have it just work out for you. Even if it works for a professional athlete or, again, someone that you know who's doing the same race as you, you need to use some trial and error. Everyone's different. Your digestive tract, your preferences are different. So that trial and error while you're training for quantity of food and timing is essential. And that's why the Honey Stinger line has so many options with their products. So you can find what works for you also in a flavor that you prefer. So some people might like gels better if they're training for a race and others might like the energy chews and other people might not want to have any food sort of substance coming in. So they prefer the sports drink option. So it's really important to test those waters out beforehand. Now, on top of focusing on nutrition, I think it's so important that we find ways to enjoy life day to day to keep stress levels down. So many athletes will come to us with GI issues, gastrointestinal issues, and thinking that it's related to food and food intolerances, thinking they need to cut these things out of their diet. And really, they just might be overwhelmed and stressed with everything they have on their plate and not incorporating stress management techniques. So find things that work for you, spend more time outside, spend time with loved ones, you know, enjoy the food that you're eating, as I mentioned. And sometimes you might even need to reduce intensity or duration of a workout during training to get yourself back on track or prioritize sleep over a workout so that you can really feel good in your training and your recovery before you get to race day. Kelly, really appreciate your visit with us here today and all the insight and information shared. Really appreciate it. I'm sure the listeners found it to be valuable information shared. Where can listeners get more information on yourself as well as the Honey Stinger product line? Well, if you want more information about me, I have a website, kellyjonesnutrition.com, as well as a social media account. Spend the most time on Instagram at kellyjonesrd. And then to read more about Honey Stinger products and the Prepare Perform Recover system, you can head to honeystinger.com or find them at Honey Stinger on social media too. Easy enough, and we'll include these links and other details in the show notes of this broadcast. Kelly, all the best. Thanks for what you do and for joining us here today. Thank you. Again, we've been speaking with Kelly Jones, who is a board-certified specialist in sports dietetics, as well as a media and nutrition communications expert. And for all the details, visit either kellyjonesnutrition.com or honeystinger.com. Again, this has been your host, Eric Michaels, and we do thank you for your continued support of the ELF Radio Network. Join us again soon for another episode that will help further expand your knowledge on those things that are important to your health and wellness. For more eHealth Radio reports, we invite you to visit our main radio channel site at eHealthRadioNetwork.com. And as always, we do thank you for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in to the eHealth Radio Network. For more information or to subscribe to this podcast, visit eHealthRadioNetwork.com.